50% are taught. Where are we supposed to get to? Where are we supposed to get to? On the grounds that it is, there is no money there. And then, we can continue to discuss again, we have money for every other bullshit. I don't want to mention it by name, but you know exactly what I mean. 315 million euros are spent on bicycle paths and bus routes in Peru and in Germany, they say. That we no longer have 800 million euros for farmers and agricultural diesel, it is actually difficult to explain. Promoting climate protection worldwide, every ton of co saved counts for two, and we have committed ourselves in the Paris Climate Protection Agreement that we are not only doing this in Germany, it would not even be enough, but that we are also helping around the world, and if it is then possible to save to co in Peru, it is often much cheaper than what we can do here. And yet, you may not even, the traffic light does not even manage to have an honest discussion about the payment card, but refuses it completely right away. Where I always think, do they actually know what's going on here right now, where the problems really are? It's not that hard at all. You just have to listen to people. That's why it doesn't matter if one goes up with us or one goes up somewhere else. And Ukraine will stick to nuclear power, it is absolutely clear. That's fine too, as long as the things are running safely. They're built. The same argument, always the same Schwarzen's arguments. I can't even hear that anymore. And that's why I think people are also afraid if you just don't have conclusive arguments that people also understand. To go into discussion with people like you or maybe more, or you're close to the old junk cars in Belgium. Yes, and that's why we get the electricity. That's absurd. Yes, with this intro, welcome to this new video in which we look at Farmer Lee, who, together with his colleagues, talks about the traffic lights, about the failed energy policy, and about the problem that politicians are no longer listening at all which are actually the real problems of the citizens. My best example is Olaf Scholz, who no longer knows the petrol prices. Nevertheless, they want to increase the air tax. But anyway, let's take a look right now. I wanted to make a video earlier that was also funny. Do you know this here? No, 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 no. At least we are digital almost everywhere now. During my time with the police, Germany and Albania were the only countries in Europe that were not yet digital, but analog points. But here, teacher shortage, choice of lessons. I would actually agree to give lessons during the week, if that were necessary. If it really comes to the point that it would be necessary, I would do that. I don't understand why lessons have to be cancelled. There are plenty of retired teachers who are bored. My mother, she certainly would have. I also know people who have continued to give lessons to asylum seekers and so on, to learn German. That was all unproblematic actually, though. Of course that will work. It is also such a point in integration. That was also quite funny, because my sister-in-law was there from southern Germany, from Bavaria, and that was about the refugee crisis. I think they have taken in 11 or 12 Syrians in this small town. So, for every Syrian there, of course, there were somehow 10 people who integrated and successfully integrated because they are fully involved in working life here. But you know for yourself, I keep saying it and you can see it now. Marcus Lands had such a really cool week last week, I thought. Local politicians from all parties had been invited, from district councillors to mayors and so on. And they really explained the problems at the grassroots level. Not this bullshit that we hear from Berlin every day, what kind of garbage there tells, but how it really is real politics so how it is really lived every day, and the problems. And I thought that was really good. And there was exactly the same thing. Everyone says in unison, everything works out, and before no more, and yet you are not even allowed, or the traffic light. Does not even manage to have an honest discussion about the payment card, but refuses it completely right away. Where I always think, do they actually know what's going on here right now? Where are the problems really? It's not that hard at all. You just have to listen to people. It's very interesting what I'm doing right now to tinker through Lower Saxony in this European election campaign, and I'm listening to this. And anyone can get there. I'm always happy. Sometimes people don't agree with me either. Finally not in my opinion. That's a good thing too, and then we'll discuss it there. I also discussed with a woman the other day last week. It was really great. She married a, I think a Turkish man, and he also told me about problems that they of course have in everyday life. And the son is being bullied again at school partly also, probably during the Abi exam. Then was asked beforehand, because of his appearance, are you even proficient in the German language? Where I always think, who asks something like that. For me, this is also racism. 
so really, that didn't work at all. And it was also interesting to talk to them, and we weren't far away from each other. And that's why I just wished that this would somehow become a duty of people who are somehow applying for a high political office, that they would do something like that and listen to it. And I seriously doubt that the people I mean now, the politicians I mean, even know where the real problems in this country are right now, because they are talking. Nope. Of course we take care of the pension, because we owe that to both the people who may retire now in the next few years, of course. We are also indebted to future generations who may ask you, what will my pension look like in 30, 40, 50 years? Yes, these are again those typical lip service. But you know it's a lie. Not only because Ricarda is long, and we'll take a look at this awesome clip right away, she doesn't know what the average pension is. Do you know approximately what is the average pension in Germany? In fact, the average pension does not know. That is, no matter. It's always much easier to talk to local politicians. And I also had events now where things got in the way, just with Greens, with people. We spoke quite normally. We are just normal people, and you can talk to them too. And there was nothing at all with politics, and they knew about me. Of course, they also knew that I was critical of what the st and the Greens were doing. But that was not the topic. But I think that's only how you get on if you talk to each other. And I always find that so funny, because we talk yes, we would talk to everyone, but they wouldn't talk to us. There was some politician there who didn't want to talk to you either. And? This is also really awesome. I was also a little shocked myself, and actually almost nothing shocks me anymore in this country. But that was also in Uched last week Monday. This is such a small town with us in Lower Saxony, and their medium-sized companies simply have a demo or an event. In the middle of the market square. A really nice place. I've never been personally. The North German plane is almost, but really beautiful. And then, Sidu members of the Bundestag had cancelled. I don't even know him. He's been in the Bundestag for 20 years. Somehow came to the Bundestag as a telecom employee or something, or a postal employee at that time, and says he is not coming because of me. When he first promised me, he had my name on the speaker list, and says I'm not coming because of that. Where someone thinks, now you're crazy. There was someone from the FDP, and there were also the Greens, as you probably noticed a short post, who then also did not necessarily think of us. But nevertheless, we talked to each other. And how do you want to solve problems at all, or even get some approaches of solutions, if you don't talk to each other at all? And that's exactly what you're saying. The problem is, however, I also think that one would probably have no arguments against the points, no conclusive arguments. But then, really only nonsense arguments. If I just say, that was the statement of this lady from the Greens, I'm glad that we don't have any more nuclear power plants. Then I asked at the latest, but you already know, we are struggling. All nuclear power plants are building brand new ones, including Poland. And he has just connected a new one to the internet in France. For the first time in 20 years, I think again, and the others are also building, and letting the running times run longer. You're close to the old junk cars in Belgium. Yes, and that's why we get the electricity. That's absurd. I totally agree with Mr. Lee on this. It is really ridiculous that all the dilapidated nuclear power plants at our borders are all running, we import electricity from there. But we have turned off our safest nuclear power plants in the world ourselves. The last thing that was shut down in Bavaria was, I think, considered the safest nuclear power plant in the world. And we idiots, or rather not we, but Habeck the idiot, put that off. So here's a little video at the end of this video where Habeck is asked by a foreign reporter about the energy transition and the shutdown of nuclear power plants, she herself was totally incredibly incredulous, this reporter. Especially with regard to nuclear power, after all, is climate neutral, and it is the concern of Mr. Habeck, co, to save too. So it makes double no sense. Yes, even if you are such a climate activist as Habeck, it makes no sense at all. But you can just see how ideologically blinded the Greens are and now I would like to present the video to you. In that sense, until then. And... Talking about this, but I wanted to ask you, nuclear energy is the as damaging as the coal. And we know that it has a minimal carbon footprint compared to coal. And you just extended the exit of coal, but said no to the nuclear energy that is being phased out next month. Why so? Well, this depends on how you see it. First, 
I would always say that if something goes wrong with nuclear energy, then it has a very damaging effect. Remembering Fukushima and also Chernobyl. So the decision made in Germany was due to the threat of nuclear energy. Angela Merkel and the Liberals and of course the Greens agreed to it. But it was an overall decision of all the German parties that we face out of nuclear energy taken 10 years ago. And it was the right decision, even though. It would have been better for the climate. Well, it was. You can't compare climate. If you do that, then of course nuclear energy has a lower carbon footprint. But I mean, what are we talking about? The European powers that are using nuclear energy are getting the uranium from Russia. So, talking about independence, nuclear power is not really helpful because we still have a dependency on Russian uranium there. And the nuclear power.